to show how to uh, fix the display when you connect Volvo Penta Easy Connect with Garmin GMI 20. Tag along! So, now I'm going to turn on turn off the music maybe, turn on the ignition to the engines but not start the engines. So this is a view I'm going to delete. This one, I'm going to delete this one. So you go into the menu. And then you take pages. Take away page. So and then it asks another time do you want to take this away and I confirm but yes and yes again and then it's gone so now I have entered in the Garmin 7012 how much fuel I have Volvo Penta says 63% and I have calculated how many liters that it is and then I have entered that manually. When you get the Garmin GMI 20 and the Volvo Penta Easy Connect uh, it comes with some standard views and it looks like this. You go into pages this is what you get automatically uh, and you add a page and then you can choose the preset pages and then you get this one looks like crap uh, this is the speed uh, this is the compass uh, this is the compass with the depth and the speed in the middle could be useful but looks like shit and then then you get some information that you have in the navigation and, and also some of the instruments. And then back. And I actually managed to delete one with the oil pressure and stuff like that. Also looked like shit. So I go back. Now I'm going to show how to configure a page go into the menu and you go to pages choose add a page and then you go into uh, manual adjusted page choose this one and then you can choose if you want to have one big screen two split screens one big on the top and two small on the bottom or four split ones so for example if you would like to have the fuel gauge you choose one and then you can choose here uh, what information you want to have engine fuel GPS etc etc I will take fuel and here I can choose between the different ones and, and uh, 
I will choose uh, this one says fuel in the tank I will choose this one and I only have one tank so I will choose tank one otherwise you can choose both tanks and then I would have split the screen then this is how it would look and then you can see with the needle you can see the percentage and uh, yeah that's one option this is how you delete the page you go into pages you go and delete and you take choose to delete this page so. I didn't actually delete it so I'll do it one more time pages take away Confirm. Confirm again. So let's do another one. And I will do add page, pages, uh, add a page, go down to manual adjusted one. And this time I will choose four pages. So I take choose. Now it asks you what do you want in the field up to the left corner. And I will go in and I will take engine and I will take engine one and I will take for example how many hours it has run. It says hours there. Choose. So now that's done. Now we'll take the engine 2, confirm, engine, and then engine 2, and I will take the hours here as well. And then now it's down to number 3, and that's down in the left corner. I will choose that one. I will take engine again, engine 1. Temperature, we take the temperature of the engine, choose. Now it asks for the next engine, or the next field down in the right corner, choose. Engine, engine 2, and then we go down and take temperature on that one too. And then it says ready, I have to confirm. So then we have the engines, hours done. Hours on engine 1, hours on engine 2. The temperature of the both engines is the same as in the water. And yeah, that's how it can look. So now I'm going to show, show what I have chosen uh, because as I told in the previous videos, I got the uh, Volvo Penta EC Connect and Garmin GMI20 because the LCD screens on the Volvo Penta displays, they are so small, they are grey with black pixels, very hard to read when you drive the boat. So, I've picked the following information. I have this is the view I'm going to use uh, when I drive. Uh, I will see how many liters I have left. I will see down here how many liters per hour it uses. I will see how many liters per nautical mile. And I will see the remains in the tank with the needle as well. And, and what is important here is the 67%. So that's one view. 
The other one is focused on fuel only, tank, and how many liters is left. This is another one, if I want to see the flow through the engines, I can see the rev on engine 1 and 2, uh, and I can, RPM per, per engine. Uh, this is to see that I have a, a good fuel consumption. And here I can see how many liters per engine is running through the engines. So I think this is a good view when, when you're driving along trying to trim. Another view is this one. And this is when when I go swimming. Uh, I can have the fuel tank, how many liters per hour in total, but also the depth in the water and the temperature in the water. The depth, so I don't hit anything, and the other one is, well, ready to swim temperature gauge. This is good that Volvo Penta has. Another view <coughs> is the fuel, the rev per engine, and uh, the speed. I think that uh, that is the four more most important ones whilst driving. And then I have another one uh, with the rev per engine and the trim. This is to see if you can, when you're trimming, does anything happen to the rev. Sometimes you, you can use the airs only, but it's good to see the, the rev in, in a digital format. So I, I like this one. And then I have one uh, Yeah, the trip You know this one, I'm not going to explain that one So Then we're back Again That's the last view Hey, okay, okay. So one more thing, uh, how to enter how much petrol you have in the tank. Here you can see you have 67, nah, it dropped to 66%. So in order to not over calculate, I will calculate with 65%. And over the years, it turned out to be pretty accurate. So my tank, is having 720 capacity times 65 percent so I have 468 liters 468 information engine and then once you have the engine menu up I to take the menu and here is Enter total fuel in tank. I will do this one. And I will manually enter what we got. 468. So zero zero four six eight. Enter. So. Let's see. So that was how to enter fuel in your main navigation system, but actually the GMI 20 you can do it here too. You go into menu, you go into configure, it's this one, configure data, and then you get the question, do you want to fill tanks? You can add how many fuel you have fueled up with, uh, or you can actually go in here and add total fuel and then you just enter how many uh, liters you wanna add by going up and down but I'm not going to do this as I did that in the main units I'm just going to go back so I think this was it uh, my conclusion is that if you are like me, over 50, you have 
Volvo Penta instruments with the grey displays and, and uh, black pixels. You can buy the Volvo Penta Easy Connect and a Garmin GI GMI 20 and you can either connect all of that to get together on the NMA Annette or you make a separate NMA Annette just to isolate it. Um, so I have chosen to have everything connected together uh, but you can do however you want and this is a much cheaper solution than uh, buying a display from Volvo the, the digital displays, they are very expensive a Garmin GMI 20 cost like 450 euros plus minus wherever you live and the Volvo Penta Easy Connect like 350 euros so in principle 800 euros plus labor if you cannot do it yourself the connection but it's it's pretty simple to do so good luck and over and out ciao